Happy National CTE Month, everyone. My name is Mateo Cruz. I'm Danny Bryant. Today, what we're gonna do for you is we're gonna uh, put on a food demonstration. Mateo is going to make a creamy tomato soup and I'm going to make a cheddar jalapeno bread. So to start off our cheddar jalapeno bread, you wanna get two cups of water, take two teaspoons of yeast into your water and let it sit there for at least five minutes. Then you wanna take your yeast and your water and put it in a small well in your flour. You'll know your dough is ready and the right consistency when it slowly starts to pull away from the bowl. Now while the bread rests, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take care of the vegetables what we need for our tomato soup. About 10 tomatoes, and you're gonna need two cloves of garlic and you're gonna need a whole red onion. We're gonna thinly slice uh, the two cloves of garlic. This is one of those slow and low kind of things that you wanna make sure that all the vegetables can break down and soften up so in the end, we're gonna blend it. Lay a fine layer of salt on the flesh of the tomatoes. So maybe some excess moisture that will give them some much silkier soup. When you put the tomatoes in the tray, you wanna hear that sizzle with the oil. If not, your tomatoes are basically just gonna be swimming in fat. Now that we have the sizzle, I'm gonna add the onion. Now we're just gonna let those, let the onions go ahead and soften up a little bit. It'll take a while, so just keep, make, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. Make sure it's coated well with olive oil. So I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of uh, sugar, just because tomatoes can be very, very tart, and you wanna kind of do your best to counteract that tartness with a little bit of sweetness. Balsamic vinegar goes great with tomatoes and it also helps the caramelization of those onions. We're gonna add the tomatoes flesh side down so I can get in contact with that with the hot pan and introduce some roasty flavor to the tomatoes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the roasting tray in the oven So while your tomatoes are in the oven, you're going to finish the rest of your bread before you put it in the oven. You're gonna get one jalapeno. You're gonna cut the stem off and then cut it in half to reveal all the super spicy seeds inside. You're gonna take a spoon and you're gonna lightly scoop out the seeds and the inside stem from your jalapeno. You're going to have one cup of cheese so you can toss both the cheese and your nice jalapenos into the dough. And then you're gonna fold that in so all of it's dispersed so you have equal bites while you're eating it later. Once everything's all folded in, it should look kind of something like this. So you're going to add oil to the pan so your bread doesn't stick to it later. Then take your mixed dough Push it right in there. Try to make sure it's as circular as possible so when it actually bakes, you can make it into a nice bread bowl. Once it's out of the oven, you can see the nice jalapenos on top with the crispy cheese. And as tempting as it is, don't cut into it and don't remove it from the pan. Let it cool until you can handle it and you can cut inside. Well, after 25 minutes has passed, we're gonna take our roasting tray out of the oven. You can see there's a little excess water in it, but that's, that is okay, it's kind of encouraged. And when we take the tip of our knife, you'll see that it slides in with little to no resistance. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna break up our tomatoes. Now that a lot of the liquid has evaporated, we've reduced it down to a nice jam. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some heavy cream. Um, I'd say about half a cup. Get it kind of incorporated a little bit. And when you're done, it should look something like that. Now that your bread's cool enough to be handled, you put it on a plate and you can cut a circle out of it to house your soup. 
We want to slowly take bits at a time so it doesn't fall apart too much. But you're going to have some overflow, especially if your bread's a little less circular. You can have different ratios from soup to bread, depending on how much seasoning you like, how much bread you like, how much soup you like. And that's a wrap for CTE DIY.